Creating stock for master cam lathe. To do my part, I wish to turn on a lathe and set my machine group to the lathe default. Before I go any further, I would also like to set up the tool construction plane for a typical diameter lathe. To do that, I'm going to select the WCS icon from the status bar in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Select the view manager. In your view manager window, select the DZ for diameter programming. Select the equals, setting the construction and tool plane to the diameter Z plane. Set these selections, and you'll notice how your tool construction plane is now DZ. I'm going to expand the properties window. Select any one of these icons. It doesn't matter which one you select. Machine group properties just comes up and I can tab through them all. Set up your tool settings like you would for any program. I'll assign my tool numbers sequentially and warn them duplicates. The material is fine for what I'm working on and so are the default values. I'll select the stock setup tab next. My CNC lathe is like many and has the spindle on the left side so I'll leave this radio button checked. Set up the stock, I'm now going to click the Properties button. The Stock Manager window will open up. The values here will be from the last part you defined stock for. There are several ways I can define stock. I can make it from two points. And in this particular part, I could choose the part origin and the intersection of these two lines. The master cam has recognized the OD of my part is 3 and 5 eighths and the length is 7.8787. You can see now the gray rectangle defining our stock. For this part, I want to have extra material coming out the back that I'll hold on the chuck and I'll part it off when I'm done. So I'll add another 4 inches and a bit to my part length. You can notice how Mastercam updates my stock. I would also like to face this end, and currently the stock is flush with my part face. So in the position along the axis column, I'll just enter 100 thou, telling Mastercam I wish to machine 100 thou off the front of my part. I can also set up the stock using my right click options. Choose the X coordinate of a point for the diameter. And you notice when I do that, it puts in the radius value. If I use the select button, and again select any point on the largest diameter of the part, it will enter the diameter back in. I'm also going to increase my diameter to three and three quarters of an inch. I can preview the lathe boundaries. Press enter when I'm done. If I'm happy with my stock, accept these settings. Your next step is to tell Mastercam whereabouts the chuck jaws will be on your raw material. So once again, I'm going to accept the default, the left spindle. Select the properties of my chuck. Here are the standard ways we typically chuck work. Chucking number one will work for this purpose. I can tell it the exact sizes of my jaw if I wish. I can tell it to position the chuck from the stock. When I do this, I'm telling it how much material I would like past the front of the stock. So if I accept this three and a half inches, what Mastercam is telling me is from the end of my stock to the front of the jaw is three and a half inches. If I change it to four, you'll notice how it moves forward. The other way I can set up my stock is uncheck the from stock, tell it the part diameter, and now I can tell it the distance from the Z0 on my part to the front of the chuck. My Z0 is right here in the front of my part. So if I make this plus one inch, 
you'll notice the chuck jaws are one inch in front of the part. If I make it negative five, the top edge of the chuck jaw is five inches away in the negative Z from the front of my part. I said earlier I'd like to part this off, so I need a little bit more room here for my part off tool. I'll make it negative five and three eighths. Oops. Yes, I also not add an extra decimal point. And it updates. Now I have plenty of room to get a one eighth inch wide part off tool in here and not hit my chuck jaws. When I'm happy with this, I can accept my selections. I don't have a tail stop or steady rest to set up. So once again, I'll accept my selections. I'm happy. Save your work.